Hi, and welcome back to the Yagartua Art Chronicles podcast, where we explore the life and career of painter Paul Yagartua. I'm Ed Hoskin, and in this episode, we find out how the impending expansion of the Yagartua clan would affect things. Of course, we had gone back to uh, Europe this time with the plan of uh, having a baby. That's actually. right. She planned ah. that. That's yeah. right. Yeah. We were thinking you, of... <coughs> oh, she asked me. In, oh, she asked me in Canada. She said, oh. I said, well, what, what, you know, we're having a baby sometime in the next whatever. Where would you like to have it? I said, how about the South of France? Yeah. Ah, right. Of France. And, so, and so she got excited about that. I so. said, how about the Cote d'Azur? And I said... <laughs> that was the plan. I said, anyway, that's but, it. That is because we didn't know when she was going to get pregnant or anything. Yeah. Well, we we had a plan that we figured sometime in 79, you know, to have a baby would be good. Okay. So thinking of children, I had also, uh, we were thinking of France, and it was particularly due to the Lamas birthing technique that was brought mm. in from Russia by the French doctor, Dr. Lamas. And uh, that was in the early 50s. So, you know, I always said people probably thought that we never planned anything, right? Oh, yeah, it, just just have a baby wherever. No, no planned, everything was organized. Just and, like we planned not to have a baby for the first 13 years. That's <laughs> right. That's right. Yes, we, we didn't want a baby for the first 13 years. Are you years. kidding? Yeah, but we... also the Sage Femme and the, the clinics yeah, there. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so, because Paul said, why not Spain? And I said, well, I prefer France for those reasons. Yeah. Right. Okay. And you fall pregnant in something Well, like, I'm, uh... you know what? In, uh, when, when we, when, just say, when we do the, um, when we do the show, right, at the base in Saragotha, mm. uh, Colonel Fields and his wife invite us out, and she has four sons, and uh well, anyways, at dinner time, I didn't feel that well. And she said that night, I bet, said, you're, I bet you're pregnant. pregnant yeah. And so I mm. was one month pregnant then. That's right. And then we go back to England, and I'm three months pregnant. Okay. And For Christmas. Organizing. Yeah, so we have Christmas, New Year's. And, I, of course, I go to the doctor. I discuss with her, uh, what do you think? Uh, we're thinking of the south of France. And she says, well, babies are born everywhere in the world. My four were born in the Amazon because she was uh, stationed there. <laughs> yeah. uh, being a doctor, can you imagine, in the Amazon? Right. So so no that problem. was all good. But but mm. then we Paul explain about the car. Auntie and Gerald, my aunt Then, and yeah, of course, after... Traveling back from uh, Spain, we went through the Basque country just to visit the family and the, and the, with, with my land there and check everything out. Mm. Then we went back to England, and of course, my my uh, Joanne's mm. uncle and auntie had, had bought this beautiful caravan, luxury and caravan, car. and, and a Granada Ford Granada. Mm. And so they said, "Well, why don't you buy it off us?" They've been there for six months. Yeah, they've been there for six and months, and they were leaving. So. And they were leaving, so they wanted to sell it. So they gave us a deal, so we didn't have to pay for a whole year or something. Yeah, we paid a bit. And, every oh, yeah. and so I said, "Okay, let's try a caravan and car. You know, it's different again. Let's try it. You know, we wouldn't be able to park in the middle of towns with it. Yeah, but true. still, for... it was luxury. You know, we're having a baby, maybe. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So yeah. we didn't know yeah. we were there. Yeah. No, but you're planning. So, uh, you know, yeah, it was a little as different. usual. So right. anyway, we we traveled. Obviously, we had the caravan, which was beautiful. It had everything luxury inside. So yeah. it was just like a little home, you know. Yeah, very nice. It was nice. Towing mm. was a bit trickier than having a van. <laughs> if you had wind. Is, yeah. The wind, yeah. Wind. The wind. Because oh, this was because very you long. Go, you could only go a certain speed with it, you know. This was a long one. It, it was, was a long one. It was 19 big. foot long. Yeah, it was a bit. And it had oh, yeah. and a car as well. So, I mean, you know, it's, you have to be a pretty uh, good yeah. driver because remember, Paul's on the yeah. other side when he's True. in Europe yeah. driving, right? So but I didn't find that any difficult at all. No, I found you that didn't. Easy. Yeah, but we have established that Paul is an excellent driver, so that's all. That's all good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. he yeah. might have been a truck driver yeah, all these years. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. So then we headed yeah. over to uh, to bases because we had two exhibitions at NATO and AFCENT. That's right. Yeah, Belgium wonderful. and Holland. And so we headed there with the caravan mm. and uh, probably parked in the lot there as usual. And I did my exhibition in the officers club. And that's where we bumped into General Haig, yeah. who was mm. the, um, the general in charge of NATO. 
but also the wing commander oh, was wing Canadian at yeah, yeah, NATO. Yes. So they invite us for a personal evening, a <laughs> dinner with them in their home. I mean, they were really, as we said They're before. They were friendly because, I mean, you know, it's another well, thing to have an artist on. I guess, and, you know, in the yeah. officers' club, right? So they made the point of it. Yeah, but I remember yeah. General Haig one day, he comes past with his wife, and his wife stops to talk to Joanne and look at the paintings. So he's heading to the bar, and so I just went in the bar to have a drink and sat next to him. And he says, oh, what are you drinking, Paul? So I said, oh, the same as you. So he pulls out, so he, he gives me a whole bottle of whiskey. In front well, you, of only take, <laughs> you only take what you're supposed he to. He had a bottle and I had a bottle. And I said, oh, and he yeah. said, no, no. He said, they charge you for how much you drink. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I don't know why he had a whole bottle of whiskey in front of me, you know. These, these military shows really were worth... Oh. Worth their weight oh, in gold then. They, yeah. were, oh, they were wonderful. God said, you could uh, go uh, and make enough money to save and go somewhere else and travel and be ho on holiday for a while, you know, if you want. But just to. the introduction to the military life. Yeah. Uh, yeah that was and sort of the psyche, the whole yeah. thing. How, you, you know, it's really fascinating. And listening to the conversations. Yeah, it's really Because amazing. I was like a fly on the wall, you know what I mean? Yeah. And you'd be in the in the bar with the general and the IBM representative, and they're all talking about different things to do with bloody hell, the yeah. war yeah, and everything. You know, and I'm sitting there like a little fly listening to it. And you're not supposed to hear it, really. Of course. Well, I'm sure they wouldn't be talking like that in front of anybody else, but an artist, they probably don't, oh, think, they it. don't think What anything. the hell, an no. artist? He's an artist, he's yeah. probably stoned, he probably doesn't know what, what's going on. <laughs> there we are. Yeah. He's not paying attention to mm. us. Yeah, he's thinking about his art. It? Yeah. Brilliant. And so, so those, were, and those were on the way to going to. Back well, to Cannes, then, to Barcelona, back to Barcelona. No, well, oh. we didn't, oh, sorry. Just that we didn't even know about Cannes at that That's time. Right, yeah. oh. So the idea then is, okay, we head to the Côte d'Azur to find mm. an apartment, a doctor, and, and w what city or what resort. And right. so we went up. We did go from Saint-Tropez to San we Rafael. We, we, we went to Monte Carlo. We went to Monte Carlo, Monaco. Uh, we, yep, saw, Monaco. we saw... Uh, uh, Sean Connery. Oh, Sean Connery and his what? French really? wife's, wife's French. Well, yeah. right past us mm. <laughs> in Monaco. Yeah, they were oh, obviously no. going to a nice restaurant there in the harbour. Well, I think they had a home, which we yeah. just left. <laughs> but well, there's you know, a lot of people. Uh, but we, anyways, we thought Cannes was for us the perfect size. Yeah, and, perfect size. You know, right. uh, having its reputation with you know the film festival and. Uh, it wasn't you know, as big as Nice, which, you know, Nice, yeah, nice was a little too bit big. too big, really, right, as far okay. as getting to be familiar, you know what I mean? Walking yep. distance yeah. to everything downtown and all of that, you know. Can, you know, being having an international resort Plus, reputation. the Carlton Hotel was the great attraction yeah. for me to be yeah. in front of But, the, but the whole coastline, really? I mean, the Italian and French oh, yeah, area. It's luxury. Uh, mm. And the other th side was that it, uh, is quite close to Spain and at that time as well we knew we were going to have a show in Barcelona which would be in March and so, so you know all these mm. things yeah. you know came yeah. into play there all, all these yachts yachts oh. with helicopters on the top of them yeah. <laughs> I figured oh yeah this is the place okay. for me <laughs> So, mm -hmm. so what we do is, okay, we decide on can, yeah. and anyways, we stop our car and the caravan, we, we, there we see an immobilier, and I say, hey, okay, because you know, in those days, we did not have uh, internet or anything, usually we mm -hmm. pick up a telephone book, or we're in a hotel, mm -hmm. and, th and then we phone, and, and we look first for an agency, you know, that we can find an apartment, yeah. and uh, you know, you go... Uh, that's how you have to do things. So yeah. here we see this immobilier and we stop and get out. And we were so lucky again. Madame Belois, she was just was great, an yeah. angel. And well, she, she was so nice to us. And I just explained, look. She got you a doctor as well. You had yeah. So I say, okay, <coughs> I'm three months pregnant now. But uh, we're going to go and do a show in Barcelona. But we're going to come back when I'm seven months pregnant. So can I arrange now? Uh, like I need an apartment to move into for six months from May till October, right? Mm. And also, so she says, of course, I oh, take care no of everything. And then she says, and you must visit my Dr. Martinez. And <laughs> so right there, just with her, 
Yeah. We had the apartment and doctor, the doctor. And, all organized. and I and called the clinic. She had the Oh well he had the, he had the clinic, clinic lined contestant. up for us. Yeah, everything. Perfect. Everything everything was done that day. And what? I mean she wow. yeah, she was just yeah. and then she said, Phone me from Barcelona. The first apartment we did look at, there was a bit of a problem. The guy decided that he wanted to come back that year uh, back to Cannes. And so she found us another one just half a block up from the Carlton, which was perfect. Perfect. Rue Pasteur. So that was all done. And then we headed to Masno. Masno, yeah. But the campsite in We had to find Masno. a campsite because you mm. couldn't put the caravan anywhere on the street. So we ended up in a campsite, which was nice. In Masno, which is about twenty miles outside of uh, Barcelona, El so Masno, we could get in yeah. and out quick to Barcelona, and uh, and then I was so then we found the Gallery Madi. Well, that's you already arranged. Yeah, organized. I'm saying we were painting for that show. Yeah, and uh, San Tropez. And it's a super. And of course, show, yeah. we're always sending works. Still, yeah, still back to still back to Apollo. Canada, yeah. So you were based in, in El Masno for, I don't know. Masno. Uh, nearly four to, months. Uh, nearly, for four yeah, months. Three and yeah. a half. Yeah. The caravan was parked there permanently for four months. We never moved. And then we... Then I the, just used the car everywhere then. Then our yeah. friends, I think we mentioned before, you know, they're on La Provenza near the Sagrada Familia. And so we go, we're in... Uh, they either come to us or we go to them every yeah. weekend. Yeah. And, you know, we have the beautiful sights of Barcelona, yeah. this an extraordinary city that we love, mm. you know, because we, of course, Paul's influenced by Gaudi, all the artwork and, you know, these extraordinary... Uh, but I love the wonders. Barrio Gotico. Barrio the old, the Gotico. Old fantastic, yeah. Just yeah. the ambiance, everything. I sat up and painted in the actual old part of uh, this the city, but the, the cops came a couple of times because there's like a mafia there with the artists. You know, if you don't have a permit... Really? They get yeah, rid of yeah, you yeah, real fast yeah, in Barcelona. Such is wow. work, but yeah, such is is different. But Barcelona, Barcelona. it's like really yeah, uh, very strict. Oh, yeah. I guess that's the problem with the cities, big cities. Okay, maybe. Just to recap, you were in Spain in El Masno, El, Masno. El Masno from sort of January to late spring no. or something. No, it was like February till till February. the late April. Till, oh, yeah, till, till, just sort of springtime, yeah. Nice yeah, time. Nice time to be uh, Till the late March, yeah. Late March, because we set up... We did, <clears throat> because we had our show in the Yeah, we did hotels. set up the Soup Hotel uh, just towards the end of uh, April because I know we were back in Cannes two months before yeah, Tala yeah, right. arrived. Mm. And so we were in Cannes the 1st of May. So Because that's I rented the yeah. apartment from the 1st of May. So oh. that had to all coordinate. And so to them, we're we off to Cannes. Mm. And then we went off to Cannes. Uh, yeah. It's only on, eight hours. Stopped en route and dropped paintings off at the Super yeah. Hotel. Yeah, we just put uh, them all up. We put them all up in, the, in the lounge, hours? whatever area there. Which was this is the Super Hotel big, in Saint Tropez, right on the front. Yeah. Very and then good. We yeah, throughout the hotel they had yeah. them, which was then really great. Then we headed to Cannes and we put our caravan in a campsite. Uh, near grass, on the way to grass, mm-hmm. parked mm-hmm. it there, drove down and got our got our, uh, yeah, our, our Madame Belvoir was there to yeah, meet us meet outside uh, the uh, Rue Pasteur. You know, in those days mm. we had maps. Yeah, <laughs> we must have maps of everything. Or your oh, sense yeah. of direction is very yeah. good as well. So then yeah. Joanne was my jo- Joanne looked like she was uh, had twins. <laughs> oh yeah, that's so you're right, ready to yeah. pop, yeah. Yeah. Did so, you cu- uh, so it was like that was quite well no it was a nice time it was spring it's okay and you're heavily yeah, heavily lovely. pregnant oh yeah but we everything was sorted well, nice. we never worry about well, Joanne was the heat. only pregnant woman in town well there wasn't course. a lot but there's but not the, many <laughs> pregnant well, they, they walking don't, around <laughs> they don't live in that area like no. La Croissette because we're no, just half okay. a block up right that's okay. a jet set and you wouldn't see a jet set you have walking many, around with a big tongue you know what's interesting about Can. Can as well. You have everybody there, not you know, just the the wealthy. You made a fuss off. Everyone made a fuss of yeah, her because of, really because nice. she was so pregnant. <laughs> right. I thought I was going to have twins or something, yeah. but but you do, do have a variety of, of, of people because you've got retired people that sometimes they.